Kuchen. Alright guys and gals, welcome on in. 2021 Topps Museum Collection 2 case, 24 box player break. Coming up, uh, we're going to do case number one on this video and we'll have a slight intermission, give or take actually probably about a 45 minute intermission and we'll come on back and do case number two. Case number two set for 530 Eastern, 230 Pacific. I'll plug the link at the bottom of the uh, chat here as we get to the end of the case as well and it's posted on the channel there. All right. I do thank everyone again for their time and business considerations on eBay. We are all good to go. Let's get case number one underway. Hope everyone's having a great start to their Thursday. And, well, minus Red Sox and the Yankees here. Another off day for everybody. Just a reminder, Gypsy Queen Baseball does release tomorrow, and we do have some team break auctions ending on eBay tonight. So we'll be breaking some Gypsy Queen tomorrow. Be sure to check that one out. Big 10 case around the Gypsy Queen. 10 case Gypsy Queen player break auctions. 100 box player break. Those auctions are ending on Sunday on eBay. Breaking Monday through Wednesday on that one. So even if you don't get any spots, come on by and check it out. Always a fun product with a Gypsy Queen. And what do we got here? Quick check-in before we get started here. We're just a couple of minutes past the start here. Three minutes past noon on the west. Three minutes past noon or past 3 p.m. on the east coast. Rod, hey buddy. Looking for some Shogo? Good sir. See if we can get them on the board for you. Often and early. That's the plan. What's going on here? There we go. Box number one, do be on the lookout. We do have another full case of museum set for team break action set for next weekend. Uh, actually, next week, team break auctions ending Thursday night. We'll be breaking next Friday night on that one. Oh, shake it up, buddy. Five days, no damn water, no. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, sounds like you guys, Mike's up in uh, Ontario there, that's up the corridor a little bit from you, and uh, about sounds like some of the same kind of weather, yeah, do be safe out there, do be safe with down power lines too, man, that's no joke. Uh, base. We'll do a full recap at the end of each case here, so if you guys and gals step away, the last two, five to ten minutes, we'll cover all the autos, all the relics, all the parallels. Nice and Matty Olson on this one. Matty O on the copper, meaningful material to 35. Bobby D. Copper base. We will cover the copper base. I think we do see two copper base parallels per box and two numbered parallels. Yeah, they really do a good job on the patches on the meaningful material. I think it, anything copper or or better lower is usually a pretty solid patch on those. Hey, John W. Hey, buddy. Looking for some Trey Turner. LAX cards. Hoping for some Jock Peterson. Good to have you guys aboard. Justin D. Looking for some 101 Seaver action. The proverbial long shot would be cool to see. Some one-on-one -on -one action here. Nate Pearson, base rookie. Well, that's cool. Little Mike Yastrzemski. Out of 300, puts the Yastrzemski spot on the board. 208 of 300 on this one. Nando, base copper. So a two... 24. 24 should have 24 coppers per case. Or actually, I might be mistaken. I might see three in some boxes. Alec Bohm, base rookie. There's our first museum collection. And 
Nice primary pieces. Quad Relic Gold Parallel. 13 out of 25. John Lester. There we go. Lesser out of 25. Nice patch on the primary piece there. Game used. And first canvas collection, the Express. Nolan Ryan. Pretty sharp one. Again, these do have the textured textured fronts on the canvas collection. Number 21 on this set. We will go over the canvas collections and the recap as well. Nice rookie parallel, Casey buys. Put them on the board here. Red parallel, 10 out of 50. Box number two, Brady Singer rookie, Maxwell. There we go. Cool hit on the Muncie spot. Uh, 24 out of 25 on the dual relic game used patch autograph. Solid hit for the Muncie spot to put him on the board. Manny. Base copper. LAX cards. Right team. Wrong player. Just a little... Well, depending on the time of the year, a little lower in the lineup there. Solid. Congrats there. Justin T. Looking for some Jordan. Good, sir. Good to have you aboard as well. Thanks again for picking up on your team breaks there, Justin. those going out here shortly. Phil, well, you know, I think he's a hit spot, so it's kind of a tough, you know, if he hits a nice one like that, that's a that that spot looks good, right? But if he doesn't hit one and totally hit what hits one, right? That's kind of a speculative spot. Watch we'll hit like three of them. Sorry. <laughs> Starling Marte. Dual bat relic game used on the autograph on the Marte here 197 out of 255. And yeah, he's done himself very nice by having another solid season, so he gonna get paid. Garrett Cole 59 out of 150. Brian Hayes, base rookie, Trout base, fire department all the way to rescue somebody there, Nate Pearson, archival autograph, rookie autograph to 200, puts the Nate the Great spot on the board, and Key Brian Hayes, copper, base rookie. Mike, Gretz, good sir. Latch in there, right? I assume you did get the <laughs> tomatoes in the museum. <laughs> but it, I assume that was you on the Nate, though. I hope. Oh, what do we got here? Good luck. Canvas collection and an autograph. Canvas collection in this box. Canvas, that's an uh, that's a one one. Yeah, it is. There you go. Aristides Aquino on this one. On the 
Museum Canvas 101. And John Gian Casparu. And that was the other artist that we pulled the 101 on. So the one ones you can actually tell it has the you can tell it it definitely has the kind of textural uh, paint to it there and no textured front there so you know you're dealing with it in per it's tougher on the camera to tell but in person you can tell definitely 100 percent uh where are we going there we go that's cool these are tough too they're supposed to be one in 126 one in 126 minis which is like one in every three cases we did pull one in our other case so getting them off in here getting them early congrats there and oh it's a relic i thought it was an auto meaningful material to 50 zimmerman jose abreu base copper Last pack of box number two. And, and so that we, we saw that in the other box. When you do get the 101 canvas, you'll still get the regular canvas in your box, which is cool because they're still pretty significant. Canvas collection in this one. Alec Bohm, nice rookie canvas. Puts the Bohm spot on the board and quad relic so do stay tuned we're gonna have our own little segment at the end of the break on the quad relics to randomize these through two cases we do figure to pull a few of these i think we pulled four in our last full case so hold on there we'll have a few of these if by chance we end up pulling doubles say we pull another twins one when we randomize it uh two so two players would each win one so we'll rank first and second place if we end up pulling three of these, then three of the four. Obviously, I don't think we're going to pull four, but stay tuned on that one between Donaldson, Buxton, Nelly Cruz, and Miguel Sano. Don't you know? Uh, we're going to do those at the end of case number two. So, uh, multiplayer parallels and uh, uh, randoms. Yeah, at the end of case two, in the event that we pull another one. A nice card to get the Alec Bohm spot on the board here. Number 31 on the Canvas Collection set. There it is. You can pick up some of the textured effect. Box number three. Stop watching it, <laughs> Richard. <laughs> love your love your reasoning on that. Yeah, I hear you too. Sometimes I'm watching stuff more than I'm more than I should, even if I don't end up buying it just out of curiosity. Well, just adds up, uh, Richard. We're we should have plenty of team breaks on the uh, Gypsy Queen. Got a few ending tonight. Got a few ending tomorrow night. Do have the 10 caser over the weekend for next week, and then uh, do have some more team breaks lined up for next week as well. Right off the bat, nice rookie canvas, Mount Castle on this one. Put the Bregman spot on the board. Okay, good. On the copper parallel here, nice quad piece, game used, primary pieces, 26 out of 75. Nice little color scheme going to it there. Congrats on that one. Mounty on the museum collection. Ah, uh, can I'm sorry, canvas collection. Excuse me. Also add a copper base rookie here. What? 
Base, base, base. The chef is in the house. Gary Sheffield on the dual game used bat and jersey relic here. Number 29 out of 50 on the autograph. Copper parallel on this one. Puts the chef spot on the board. And base, a base at parallel blue, 99 of 150. Trevor Story. Okay, I think this one's got a little more weight to it here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Gold framed autograph coming up. It was gold to 10. Good luck, good luck. Good to see it's in here. We had the case yesterday that was missing one. Put this one on the board. Barry Larkin. That's sweet. On the gold ink. Nice hit. Four out of ten. Puts the Larkin spot firmly on the board with that one. Kirloff. Copper parallel rookie. Congrats, congrats. I mean, we have another. Always fun on the framed, framed autographs there. Joey B, base rookie. Meaningful material, copper parallel. Nice little patch relic, Mookie Betts. 19 out of 35 on this one. Very nice. They got the uh, stitch work in there. Yeah, Museum's always a fun product. They do a very good job on it. I think they've gotten better as far as the hit content and the quality, quality control over the years. Some products, right, on the checklist have a balance of, right, um, rookies, veterans, and legends and stuff like that, but they're more heavily skewed towards rookies. Um, this stuff does a good job to get in a lot of the other older players and legends and Hall of Famers. Obviously, the price tag kind of reflects that in the product, obviously, but... Always fun to kind of wonder what you might be able to get out of these. Yeah, Justin, those, those, I hope I say it right, too. Is it all at Atelier? At, Atelier? Atelier autographs? Yeah. Super cool with the panoramic kind of photo shot of the stadium. Would like to see those for sure. Six to base rookie. There's another one. Meaningful material. Gold parallel. Four out of 25. Nice three-color patch relic on that one. The Kutch. Andrew McCutcheon. Nicky Madrigal in the copper base rookie. Hey, Mikey. Good to see you, buddy. Same, same thing again, Mike. I noticed, I noticed you had picked up those last boxes. Was late, and I didn't want to message you too late last night. Uh, but again, do appreciate you picking up those again, good sir. George Springer on this one, primary pieces. Quad jersey game used, 21 of 99. Nice rookie parallel, Joe Adele, Museum Blue, 
numbered 140 of 150. Means artist workshop in French. Interesting. Utilia. Jeremy, thanks for the uh, little uh, nugget there. I love that. Utilia <laughs> means artist workshop in French. Very cool. Christian Pache. Maxwell again. Yeah, all right. Well, I take that back, Philip. Maybe we should have jumped on it at 45. Uh, to 300 on this one. Got the nice patch, dual relic patch autograph to 25 to start the case. Maxwell strikes again. Uh, we going on these, yes. Oh, color scheming. Purple on purple. Colorado Rockies, or Trevor Story on the purple, 93 out of 99. Canvas collection coming up. Luis Robert on the canvas collection in this one. Wilson. With the Wilson Contreras spot on the board. On the dual relic game used. Little pinstripe action. 159 of 199 on this one. can see the texture you can try to make it out there there it is so that's how you know um, if you can't tell obviously the autograph will be on the back on the 101 but yeah pretty cool uh, on the canvas cards here with the whole textured front really nice artsy look to the cards wish they would come up with a set that's entirely kind of based like that just kind of art themed just completely art themed or if you guys remember like some of the uh, early 90s with 91 Fleer Provision where it kind of mixed 91 Fleer Provision, yeah. Fun set. If they kind of mixed in some, like, comic book theme with art, I'd be all over that. That'd be a really fun product. You know, like Tatis, like Superhero Stias. So, like, you know, doing Tatis and these guys in, like, superhero kind of mock-ups with good artwork. I think those would be really cool, really fun products. Box number four, number five, excuse me. spot go to yeah you know what you're right kind of like that Philip uh, tops gallery is kind of like that but maybe kind of on a thicker card stock like this like on the museum and or if you kind of mix in a comic kind of a comic book superhero kind of theme to it so maybe like, yeah, Topps Gallery kind of blended with a superhero artsy kind of theme. Kind of a Marvel kind of look to it maybe. <laughs> Without getting copyright infringements or anything. Okay, double Bieber base. JT Real Muto on the copper. Meaningful material to 35. Rendon base copper. Thirty of thirty-five on this one. Jeez. Um, Mike, I'm not sure. I'd have to double check. If Springer was listed as an Astro, then it would go as an Astro. Was he double? Was he double listed? They shouldn't have been double listed.
Yeah, it shouldn't matter because uh, it is one player, one per one player. Whoa, that's an interesting. Wow, that's what is that? That looks like an autographed jersey. If I'm not mistaken, does it not? That doesn't look like a pattern or design. I'm intrigued. What is that? Twenty-seven of ninety-nine on the Pete Duel. What well, looks to be part of a? Why did you cut up an autographed jersey though? Interesting. Wish I knew a little bit more about that. Petey on the board. Old Dylan Carlson on a copper rookie parallel. Canvas coming up. Johnny Bench, nice one there. Autograph, Air Jordan is now boarding. There we go. Congrats. 36 of 99 on the Alvarez. Thirty-six of ninety-nine. Here we go. Derek Jeter on the base copper. thin on this one. Maybe it's a redemption. Yes, it is. Redemption autograph. Coming up. Gulak. Bobby D. Base rookie. Michael Jack Schmidt. Redemption. Single player signature. <clears throat> Swatch. Dual relic. So dual relic autograph. Bueller. Did we not? Yeah, we did get one of these in the other case. Butane. Put it on the board. Congrats here. Pretty good run on the Dodger case so far with the uh, Muncies. Nice McCutcheon here. 50 out of 50 on the red parallel. Ruby. Box number six. Coming up. <laughs> Oh no, Chris, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness, please don't tell me that happens. Well, I mean, the nice thing, <clears throat> nice thing is, <clears throat> we got the framed autograph. So at the very least, that can't be missing. So take your best shot now, right? I, I could live with it if it's a lower end um, autograph, just not the case hit. That was pretty brutal yesterday. Although, we did replace it with a box, and sure enough, the box that we replaced it with had a framed autograph in it, so, I don't know, the universe kind of working itself out there. Goldschmidt, Otani, framed, uh, I'm sorry, canvas card in this one, Jackie, nice Jackie Robinson, Ian Anderson on the rookie autographs, 17 out of 200. Puts the Anderson spot on the board. I wondered if it was the uh, the booklet too. Maybe the booklet might have thrown off those the packet. It could have. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. When you get something like weird like that, or out of the norm, or super thick. There's our second Joe Adele parallel. Working that rainbow for Joe. Looking for some auto action. Sorry, this one is a uh, 35 of 99. 
Jackie on the canvas collection, number 11 on this set. It's a 50 card set, so pretty tough to put together. Mike, you got Yusei? Yusei, you got Kikuche? No way! <laughs> Alright, I'll stop it. Uh, let's see, autograph or meaningful material to 50. Key Brian Hayes, base rookie. Base Trout. Material, meaningful material to 50. Pete, 6 of 50 on the Alonzo, Jersey Relic. Game used, Polar Bear, attire. That is our second Alonzo. Got the quad relic on him. Ted Williams base copper. Crony coming up. Casey Mize rookie. Wow. <laughs> Holy smokes. Maxwell. All right, Philip. I uh, clearly underestimated that spot value there. Uh, it's 8 out of 50. Looks like a pretty darn good good value now at that point. But again, he's a hit spot only, so if he doesn't hit or he only hits on once, you know, certainly changes that outpace, uh, that outlook. But have at it. Third Maxwell in the first six boxes here. Congrats solely to the Muncie spot. Apologies to everybody else. Maddie. Tends to hit him in bunches too. This one numbered eight of fifty. Copper parallel. Huh? LA actually like, yeah, wrong spot on the order there. A little jock, see if we can get some jock action on the board. Red board has been a pretty uh with the Bueller there, active Dodgers front. Griffey Jr. base. Weiss on the McCutcheon base. Keston Hira. Primary pieces. Quad relic. And yeah, nice. I appreciate the kind of diversity. A little road gray with a clean home white and a little tangy home white. Nice fat pinstripe on the primary piece there. 11 of 75. Saw that with the Bregman too. A little, a little I doubt it's coincidence. So it's nice they're putting some thought into it there on the design. There we go. 11 out of 75 on the Hira. And Javi Baez. On the blue, 21 out of 150. Box number 7. Castle base rookie. All right, double hero. Meaningful materials to 50, 21 out of 50. Ripken Jr. copper base. Pick the winners today. <laughs> Another redemption autograph coming up. Good luck. And the Bueller. This one. Dual autograph. I challenge you, sir. Good luck. Well, going to the randomizer, so stay tuned. But uh, let's see who we got. Ooh! Ho ho! Hey now. Trout and Bellinger. Dual. Must see TV on this one, folks. Yeah, uh, do stay tuned again. So this is sizable again. So this is something I don't mind if you guys want to take your time, if you guys want to work something out. Um, yeah, if you want to give it a shot and twirl it 
go to straight to random we can do that but otherwise if you guys want to we'll try to get consent from both buyers on something like that so there's no like ill remorse or anything 54 of 99 on the Clemente Nice parallel gets the Bobby spot on the board. <sighs> Dual autograph. I'm not sure. That's probably number two fifty. We pulled the Maddox and Fergie Jenkins Cubs duel. It was to fifteen. So these are definitely to twenty five or less. I have to take a look at those. See if there's any exact numbering on them. Solid. <laughs> Andrew, I'll take one for the team. Well, it's a very noble act of you there, kind sir. <laughs> Sam Huff, Alex Kirloff, base rookies. Nice, Chris Bryant. Put him on the board here. Solid box with the uh, Trout Bellinger duel. Add the Chris Bryant triple. Game used jersey relic autograph on the KB here. Yeah, definitely on the shorter print there. 15 out of 29 that's not even his parallel so that is his base relic autograph definitely on the sp side to 29 jeremy yeah i kind of agree with where he's well coming off after the mvp with that with the way he's been coming off this year right yeah it's kind of hard to pair anybody equally with him but as far as like a Southern California card, yeah, that's a pretty cool one. There we go, yeah. Very tough on the KB here. Again, 15 of 29. That's the base version. So I'm curious what his parallels are. Number two, copper or gold. Definitely under to 25 then. Gold. Yeah, copper's probably to 20. Gonna take a look at those. Bow. Base copper. How dare you? <laughs> Ernest, yeah, I agree with you. Some cards are, right? You, you wish you'd seen them live. Same thing with some stuff we pulled. I'm like, if you guys ever redeem it, please send us a picture. It's like, <laughs> that's cool. Well, George, George Herman on the canvas collection. Oh, primary pieces. 65 out of 75 on the copper parallel. Hey, Juan. How's it going, buddy? Well, yeah, I would say that. You know, the, they've all been to 99 or less, though, so not a lot of them out there. There's a lot of them in this case. <laughs> yeah, I think the one we pulled was gold to 25, and then the copper to 50 so yeah not a lot that usually the print runs on museum are pretty moderate the highest rookies are like to 299 or something 300 number 27 on this one nice parallel willie blue 60 out of 150 Oh, beautiful all right guys have at it <laughs> uh, Jimmy uh, James if you guys want to work something out let me know if you guys want me to forward each other's contact information Jimmy let me know I can do that for you guys if you guys don't want to uh, or if you guys want to exchange emails either way let me know on that there's no rush but we'll follow up with you guys after the break Box number eight. Yeah, yeah. Cold coffee. Ugh. Mm -hmm. 
Base cards, Jeter, Hank, whoa, stuck to him, there we go, double Hank, just a little bit of glue on the back of that one, ooh, there you go, really nice hit for the Jose Abreu, momentous material, case hit on these, one per case, and a beauty, on the momentous material, patch autograph, 14 of 15, former AL MVP, Jose Abreu, solid hit there. Yeah, do see or supposed to see one framed auto, one momentous material, and one jumbo patch as well still do up here. Congrats, congrats again, Jose, on the momentous material jumbo patch autograph card. I think we hit it last time in the same box. Yeah, so it's nice that they spread them out in different boxes with uh, kind of the bigger hits like that. Makes it kind of fun in the sense of, from a consumer standpoint, right, the, the framed auto, the jumbo patch auto, or the jumbo patch, three pretty solid hits, you get a one in four chance of hitting if they're all spread out evenly. Or if you buy what, two boxes, you should have a 50% chance of hitting one of those at least. Jeff McNeil, archival autograph to 300, puts the McNeil spot on the board. Bryce, base copper. Just here's another one. <laughs> Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. Perfect. Uh, Carlson Bass. Oh, <laughs> I caught me off guard there, the bubble gum. Okay. A Rod on the Canvas Collection. I <clears throat> heard the story that he's trying to put, a, put together a group to buy Panini. Yeah, I heard that or saw a little link on that over the week. Interesting. Uh, Victor Robles, meaningful material out of 50. Jose Altuve on the blue parallel to 150. Number 15 on the canvas collection here. And last pack, last little mini box of <clears throat> box number eight. There's another quad relic coming up. Okay, <laughs> it's twins as well. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? That was the one of the first ones it was, so. All right, so at least two of the four players will each get one now. Um, we'll rank them. So this is the base to 99. This is the copper that we pulled. So for the time being, once we get to the end of the break, we'll figure this out again. But the winner, the one spot would get the lower parallel. Who's ever in the two spot will get the parallel to 99. Three spot and four spot. No go as of right now. But, well, still got a few more of these to pull. So hold your horses. Pretty cool one, too, with the... Uh, Dual bat, Donaldson and uh, Nelly Cruz, dual jersey, Buxton and Sano. Box number nine, coming up. So we got the framed autograph, we got the uh, momentous material patch autograph. Looking for the jumbo patch. Patch relic, usually. Looking for a nice low numbered autograph 
Hey Travis, how's it going, buddy? Doing pretty good, man. Hope all's been well with you. Whit Merrifield. Put him on the board. Archival autograph, 58 out of 300. Kevin, who are we looking for for you, buddy? Yeah, museum, definitely tough until we hit, <laughs> right? That's kind of the name of the game with it. And or, depending on some spots, hit a few times. Nice. Second Clemente parallel here. 19 of 150 on the blue. Kevin, looking for some Madrigal. All right, let's see if we can throw a little ShamWow magic on it. Mike, I need some of that magic, magic big Polish pixie dust. <laughs> see if we can get some of the rookie action, rookie side on the board for you. Glaber on the meaningful material relics is 50. Christian Yelich, base copper. Travis, yeah, right? Stay dry, stay cool, good sir. Um, McCormick, I didn't see who had, but yeah, if you did end up winning that spot, that's you, good sir. So looking for some Randy for you. I don't think we've seen any yet. Minus some, he's on the base set. Some base cards. 40 of 99. Nice Max Scherzer. Solid. Future Hall of Fame. Quad jersey relic on that one. Ooh, Moogie Beth Logoman. That would be cool. Vlad Sr. on the purple here to 99 parallel. Last pack of box number 9. Clemente base, Trout base, Canvas collection, Jacob deGrom. Put him on the board. Justin Morneau. I haven't seen a Morneau hit in a while. Put him on the board. Mike. A little Canadian action there for him. Well, if you got the Morneau spot. Former former Canuck. Dual Bat Relic. Game used. 271 out of 349. Copper Base Rookie Ian Henderson. And Jake on the canvas collection. This one, number five on this set. Yeah, I think I overestimated the time. Let me see. I can definitely, we're going to definitely pull this one up here. Box number 10, case number 1.
does not know Jorge Alfaro. Jorge, I believe he's probably on the Relic autographs, I'm assuming. Haven't run into that one yet. We've got a little ways to go, so hopefully we can run into it here. Nice Nolan Arenado. Primary Pieces Quad Bat Relic. 74 of 99 on this one. Puts the Arenado spot on the board. Joey Votto, base copper. Randy, all right. McCormick. Well, Arizona, nice on the canvas collection. <clears throat> Excuse me. Elvis on the dual relic, dual jersey relic autograph. Elvis Andrews, sixty-one out of two forty-nine. I don't see a lot of his signature. Number 12 on the canvas set here, Arizona. Arena, on the board. Uh, Babe Ruth, base copper. Tim Anderson, archival autograph, copper parallel. 17 out of 50 puts the Timbo spot on the board. Congrats, congrats. Tony Gwynn, base copper. Another quad or dual coming up. Joey Bart, base rookie. Casey Mize, Tarek Skubal, dual. Nice rookie, dual patch gold. 10 out of 10. That's a cool one. Very nice. And stay tuned. I'll have to check for ownership on these if we can eliminate any of them. But uh, that'll be going to random at the end of case number two. Bob. Gibson Blue here, number 101 out of 150. Chestnut, hey, more than welcome, good sir. Hopefully we can run into a good one or three here for you. Very nice on the rookie dual patch relic. A little gold action. Box number 11, and yeah, definitely let me push this up just a few minutes at least here. Let's do this. All right, let's go with that. So we're going to shoot for 515, 215. Try to keep it at a, no more than an hour on that once we finish this last couple boxes. Plus the recap should put us about a 45 to 50 minute intermission. And we'll come on back and do case number two. I'll honestly could get these done in one shot, single sitting, but try to spread it out.
Oh, uh, big Polish. Oh, I missed it. Yes. Sorry about that, Mike. I didn't see your comment there. Uh, just got the. Give you a look here in a second. Key Brian Hayes base rookie there. Glaber. Glaber. Put him on the board. Glaber Torres on the triple jersey relic game used, and he's probably a more SP. Uh, slightly SP there. Fifty-one out of eighty-nine on the Glaber. Congrats on this one. Machado base copper. Uh, Mike, sorry about that. Give me a look there. Yeah, rookie dual patch gold. Scooby and Mice. Redemption Auto coming up. Archival autograph of Sam Huff on the rookie autographs here. Archival autograph rookie. Put him on the board. David Ortiz. Base. Oh, not a problem, Mike. Nice. Alex Kirloff, Canvas Collection Rookie. Solid. Ooh, nice red parallel. Red parallel on the rookie, too. Brent Rooker, Meaningful Material Red. 7 out of 10 rookie patch. Nice four color on that one. Well, either way, we're going to have to random it uh, after case number two. Uh, do have, yeah, do have some duties to get to after this case. So we're going to have to do the randomizations after case number two. So just a heads up there. Sorry about that. So that might make it a little easier. <laughs> we're not going to be able to random it in between case one and two otherwise. Aloy on the purple to 40 out of 99. And again, nice on the canvas collection rookie here. Kirloff, number 32. Casey Mize, base rookie. Boogie. Got the meaningful material patch relic earlier. I think it was copper to 35. Copper on this one, quad relic out of 75. 18 of 75. Congrats on that one. Fox. Number 12. We haven't seen the jumbo patch. Something to keep an eye out for here. I don't know if it's a guarantee. I know the framed auto. Thanks to Justin again for the confirmation on that. Framed autograph and the Montes material is on a per case basis. Let's see if we get that jumbo patch. Keep it up. Another quad Philadelphia, the Fightins on this one. Gold parallel to 25. Harper, Hoskins, Bohm, and McCutcheon. Do stay tuned. Yes. 
Christian Pache, copper base rookie. Rolling Bears. Yeah, there's some pretty crazy stuff on there. Outside of the framed and outside of the uh, patch autographs, certainly. Cut signature autographs. Babe Voigt. Put him on the board here. 40 out of 300 for the Luke Voigt spot. Matt Chapman, base copper. Kujobo! Yeah, they, they do wear those, um, uh, that's a good question. They do wear those, uh, the powder blues occasionally. Not a lot, but they do kind of wear those, those lighter baby blues every now and then. I don't know if they're considered what the alternate jersey. <laughs> Retro is the retro. Hi, everybody. buddy. Good to see you, and thanks for the assist there. Canvas collection in this box. Nando put the Tati spot on the board. Meaningful material, looks like, and it is gold. Nice patch relic. Byron Buxton put the Buck spot on the board. 8 of 25 on this one. scratch on that one. Let's try that again. There we go. Alright, put the Buxton spot on the board. Meaningful material gold parallel relic card. Nice on the Tatis Jr. This one number 42. Gang. Last pack of case number one. Six no copper base rookie. Lunch and cards. <laughs> Joe Adele base rookie. Nolan Ryan base. Clemente. Brady Singer on the dual relic rookie autograph. 202 out of 349 puts the Singer spot on the board with this one. There we go. Congrats, congrats. And nice parallel to finish with Nolan Ryan. Purple, 96 of 99. All right, let's see how the recap. Recap on case number one. we will plug the link one more time. Uh, yeah, should be good to go. Just under an hour intermission here. Once we finish the recap or so here, we'll resume at 2.15 Pacific, 5.15 Eastern. And again, we do have some cards to random. Uh, James and Jimmy, most notable amongst you guys with the dual autograph. So just a heads up there. On the cards, we do need to random. These are going to case number two recap. Dual auto Trout Bellinger. Quad relic for the Phillies players. Mize Scooble dual to 10 rookie patch. And then two of the four twins players here. We'll each get one of these so far. We'll, again, wait to see on those. Alright, let's separate these and go over them. So, relic autographs versus archival autographs.
jumbo material. Sweet Barry Larkin on the gold framed in this case. Cover covered. Um, will we consider this an autograph? Yeah, I guess it's got the artist autograph, but kind of a one on one art parallel with the supplemental artist autograph. We'll count it like that. So let's go to the top hits here out of this case. No doubt. Uh, nice on the Trout Bellinger dual autograph to be determined. Stay tuned on this one. Framed autograph in this case, gold framed. And congrats to the Barry Larkin spot and a beauty. Gold framed, gold ink. Four out of ten, Barry Larkin. Uh, let's see, lower parallels. Yeah, gold on the dual relic autograph here 24 out of 25 Maxwell Muncie copper on the dual relic out of 50 29 out of 50 Gary Sheffield and lo and behold Maxwell again on the copper eight numbered eight out of 50 on this one short print not a parallel but definitely on the short prints uh, Chris Bryant triple relic jersey Starting at 29 on his parallels. 15 of 29 on the KB. And momentous material. Patch autograph in this case. Jose Abreu. 14 out of 15 on this one. Let's do the... Relic autographs. Standard numbering on these for the most part. Dual bat relic. Starling Marte. 255. Wilson Contreras to 199. Bueller on that one, numbering to be determined. Justin Morneau, dual bat relic to 349. Elvis Andrews to 249. Glaber Day, Glaber Torres out of 89. And Brady Singer on the rookie duel to 349. Archival autographs. Uh, let's wait a parallel here. There it is. Copper parallel on the archival autographs, numbered out of 50. Tim Anderson. Not parallel, but a little lower print on Jordan here, his base to 99. Re uh, re rookie Redemption, Sam Huff. And varying numbers here. To 300, Luke Voigt, Mike Yastrzemski, Nate Pearson, rookie to 200, Maxwell to 300, Ian Anderson on the rookies to 200, Jeff McNeil, and Whit Merrifield on the veterans to 300 archival autographs. And then again, we did hit our 101 canvas collection sketch card, sketch card artist autograph. John Giancaspero. Did I say that right? Aristides on the 101 sketch card. Very nice there for the Aquino spot. How about the relics? Let's separate these primary pieces. Copper, copper. Yeah, real intriguing one on the Pete Alonzo there. That certainly looks like an auto piece of cut up autograph jersey. Lowest parallel here on the. Let me make sure I got them all. Hold up. These are all the meaningfuls. Yes, okay. Primary piece quad relics, gold in this case. John Lester, nice patch relic on that one on the primary piece. 13 of 25. Copper parallels to 75. Fragman, Hira, Bichette, Mookie. Primary pieces to 99. Springer. Pete Alonzo, Max Scherzer, Nolan Arenado on the quad bat relic. Meaningful material. 
the gold got the red to 10 that was the lowest of the um, meaningful material relics in this case so yeah lowest congrats to the brent rooker spot nice hit on the meaningful material rookie red parallel seven out of ten nice four color patch on that one for you two gold parallels andrew mccutcheon four of 25 and byron buxton eight of 25. three copper parallels nice patches on each of these as well matteo mookie and jt real muto and meaningful material standard relics to 50 zimmerman pete alonzo hira victor robles and glaber torres a couple of other ones here that are going to go to the randomizer three quad relics stay tuned on these again philadelphia phillies players and minnesota twins players pictured here we'll randomize these at the end of case number two as well as dual casey mice Tarek scubel dual rookie patch relic so those are all the relics from case number two last shot here are the parallels and the canvas collection cards let's do the canvas collection cards here always nice canvas collection is one per box i believe it's a 50 card set there tatis kirloff randy airs arena de grom uh who's that a rod the babe ruth jackie robinson johnny bench Luis robert mount castle rookie bohm rookie and nolan ryan and number of parallels out of curiosity here four eight twelve sixteen so looks like one and a quarter so one about one parallel per box every every fourth or so box every third or fourth box you'll see a second parallel per box purples to 99 blue to 150 and red or ruby numbered out of 50 i don't think we had anything else no. so only two reds in this case i think we saw four in the other 10 out of 50 casey mize and 50 out of 50 andrew mccutcheon purples out of 99 story adele Clemente, Vlad Sr., Eloy, and Nolan Ryan. Blues to 150. Story, Cole, Adele, Baez, Willie Mays, Tuve, Clemente, Bob Gibson. And one more thing to cover here. Base copper parallels. Ranging from uh, 2 to 3. So let's see if we had... 16 at the end of each pack so that gives us 32 so we should have 48 yeah 4 times 12 so we should have 32 base coppers here Sixto, Jose Abreu, Key Brian Hayes, Manny, Tatis, Dahlbeck, Chapman, Pache, Alonzo, Ortiz, Machado, Gwynn, Babe Ruth, Votto, Anderson, Yelich, Randy Johnson, Harper, Bellinger, Bichette, Ripken Jr., Cronenworth, Ted Williams, Jeter, Carlson, Anthony Rendon, Trout, Dahlbeck, Madrigal, Lindor, Kirloff, and Mountcastle. All right, gang, that is going to get us to and through the end of case number one here. Certainly appreciate everyone for sticking around, hanging out, watching the break. Be on the lookout. Case number two gets underway just about an hour from now. 5.15 Pacific uh, Eastern, excuse me, 2.15 Pacific. We'll circle back and get that one underway. Uh, hands pulling. That's all. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I didn't see the comment. Good call. Let's take a look here. Aerocedes? 
uh, Aristides. Yeah, he's probably the first time he's ever heard that name in his life, so yeah, I could see that happening. Interesting. All right, gang. Uh, do thank everyone again for hanging out and watching. Well, I don't think I live in the South. <laughs> Intermission time on this one. We'll circle back again 515 Eastern, 215 Pacific to start case number two.